Delhi's pollution is not just from vehicles or dust. One invisible chemical is responsible for one third of PM 2.5 and most people don't even know its name. Delhi's air pollution is not just about smoke, dust or traffic. A shocking new finding reveals that almost one third of Delhi's PM 2.5 pollution comes from a secondary source, ammonium sulfate. Now what does that mean? PM 2.5 doesn't always come directly from vehicles or construction. Some of it is created inside the atmosphere itself. Here's how. Industries and coal-based power plants release sulfur dioxide, also called SO2, into the air. India is currently the world's largest emitter of SO2, mainly because of coal-fired thermal power plants. This SO2 reacts with ammonia released from fertilizers, livestock waste, sewage systems and landfills. Now, with the help of humidity, low temperature and sunlight, these gases chemically combine and form ammonium sulfate particles. These particles are extremely dangerous. They stay in the air for days, travel long distances and penetrate deep into our lungs. According to the Center for Research on Energy and Clean Air, ammonium sulfate alone contributes nearly 33% of Delhi's annual PM 2.5 load and the share rises sharply during winter and post-monsoon. This explains why Delhi's air remains toxic even when visible sources are controlled. Experts warn that air pollution policies focusing only on dust or vehicles are not enough. Secondary pollutants must be addressed at the source especially coal emissions and agricultural ammonia. Delhi's pollution crisis is not just local, it, it is chemical, regional and systematic. The air we breathe is being formed in the sky above us and unless policies change, clean air will remain a distant dream. So this is it for this news. Thank you.